every day I hear another closure of an ER, another person who can't find a family doctor access care. We need to try to find ways to fix that. Toronto Metropolitan University has announced who will occupy the top spot at Ontario's newest medical school coming to Brampton. Dr. Teresa Chan has been appointed the founding dean of the School of Medicine and inaugural vice president of medical affairs. Dr. Chan is being described as an accomplished educator, physician and researcher and will be coming from McMaster University where she currently serves as associate dean. What can now happen? What's your role going to be now that you're, you're coming into the position? Yeah, so I mean, I'm going to have to find people to uh, be assume the interim roles and then eventually you know, like the, the leadership team. I'm going to have to hire those people into it, the faculty. Have you started thinking about it? And if you have, what's your vision for, for the school? I mean, my vision is, I think what we need right now is to empower people to, to make medicine better, right? We need to rethink about how we bring health system science into, into the medical school at the foundational level and br bring the leadership capacity up. Um, in our field, right? You, it's great that you understand anatomy and the Krebs cycle, but if you don't understand the funding cycle for the government, you don't understand how things work in healthcare. And so I think that we need to rethink what is the core fundamental stuff in the age of ChatGPT and Google. You know, maybe we don't have to memorize as much stuff anymore. St sure, students still have to pass exams and they still need to do great work, but we also need to make sure that we make them into leaders so that they can adapt to the future. Because I mean, the last three years have shown us we never know what's actually going to come around. You don't have to go very far right now to find someone who has either personally had or a friend or family member has had a, a very unfortunate story with the healthcare system. How long before we start to see uh, perhaps a little relief coming out of the new graduates in the healthcare system? Well, the goal right now is to have an entry class of residents uh, in 2025, so it's actually going to be faster than probably What's anticipated? The, the fact that this school is located in Brampton. Yes. Brampton is an extraordinarily popular place for new Canadians to settle. This school is going to tap into that, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Is that right? Anytime you open something new, you should have a reason to be there. Brampton's got that um, special feel of a community that's really looking to change things up and rise. Uh, and I think that with all the newcomers and the young energy that comes with newcomers, I think it'll be amazing. Once completed, the school will accommodate 80 undergraduate and 95 postgraduate students and occupy 250,000 square feet of classrooms, offices, research facilities, as well as an integrated health clinic. At Toronto Metropolitan University, David Zura, City News.